Well before he accepted the label Lutheran, Luther identified the movement he initiated in Wittenberg as evangelical. Simply put, the main tool of the Lutheran Reformation was a sermon. Following the Apostle Paul, Luther knew that Christian faith comes only from hearing the gospel. God's word alone makes faith. So, the sermon became the centerpiece of the worship service in Lutheran churches. For Luther, a sermon does not give you steps for living a better life, and it does not simply tell you a story. You can get that from most any person on the street. Preaching is a way God delivers a direct word of promise, the gospel, to you and to all those caught in the web of sin and death. So what does the gospel promise us? Jesus Christ was crucified and raised from the dead for the forgiveness of your sins. Simply put, a Lutheran sermon does not leave you with another to-do list. Rather, the gospel is an it's-been-done-for-you list. Luther recognized that Jesus chooses people to be his disciples through preaching. As a result, a significant portion of Luther's time was dedicated not only to preaching sermons himself, but also to producing resources pastors could use for helping them preach. Printing presses far and near published Bibles, commentaries on scripture, and sermons themselves. Nearly a year after Luther published the 95 Theses, he stood in front of Cardinal Cashton, laying out the reasons he could not recant. Soon, the difference between Luther and the Roman Church became obvious. For Luther, the Pope holds no more authority than a simple little preacher who is propagating the words of Christ as found in the scriptures. And so it was that Luther, his colleagues, and the preachers they sent out charted the course for what it means to be an evangelical Lutheran. All of this was said and done so you can remember, a mighty fortress is our God.